Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. And for this one, I was dying to use this 12 by 12. I loved both corners of this design, but with two photos, I really had to pick on which side I wanted to sacrifice. And I chose to keep my photos in the lower quadrant like I usually do. So I'm gonna end up covering up this house, but I love this floral cluster in the upper left-hand corner with the horse. I just think that printed design is beautiful. I'm really finding, I, I mean, I love this collection anyways, but it's just so easy to work with because the paper is so beautifully designed, you can really let it speak for itself. So you'll really see that on this page. I'm gonna do a lot of fun layers and the details I've been doing all month long with this collection um, around the photo. But I'm just gonna accent this horse design in the upper left-hand corner to create that embellishment cluster. And you'll see how little I have to do to really make it look beautiful and let it stand on its own. So I, I adore this page. <laughs> I was uh, really excited also to get these photo scraps. See, there's some of my favorite photos from our wedding shoot, which I think is kind of funny because I'm not in the, <laughs> it's just Marcus, but he just looks so handsome. These are a couple photos in front of that old door in downtown Ackworth and he just looked like a little model. <laughs> so I wanted to give them uh, their own page and just document this vibe because I, I love it. So I am going to map both of these photos together and map them on some white. Um, I did just trim the one down a little bit because this kind of distressed white door is um, in a brick building and I didn't really want that red brick to be showing in this these photos on this page. it's You can see it in some other pages that I will do this month, um, but I really wanted just that texture of the door to shine without the distraction of the brick. So I just trimmed that one photo down a little bit, um, but I'm matting them together on white. I'm inking in my Distress Oxide in the ground espresso color. And now I'm just using a couple scraps to build out my layers a little bit. So I'm taking a scrap of this uh, kind of distressed pink paper and I'm still gutting everything you'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to still save as much as I can so I can get as many pages done with this kit as possible this month. Uh, and then I had a scrap of the white wood grain plank from an earlier page. So I'm going to layer that up as a horizontal layer. And now I'm going through the ephemera. I know I want to use another frame on this page, but I'm also trying to find what I want as my focal points. I know the horse is going to be the focal point in the upper left-hand corner, but I do want something in this opposite corner since I kind of covered the background, the, the part of interest on the background. I'm gonna create a new cluster down here so you'll have a focal point. Um, so I decided to use this little clock here. I think that really ties in well with the distressed door, having this distressed white clock. So I'm inking that as well. And that's going to be the focal point for the lower right hand side. <laughs> and I'm just going to tuck in a glassine bag behind there just to give a little bit extra layers and base for my cluster. Um, I end up pulling in, what are they called? The joyous thickers, which are a, a gold foil topped chipboard thicker. Um, and there's some stars that are on it, which I love because I can use those as my finishing touch and they'll tie back into the title. So I know I'm going to be pulling that in at some point, um, but for now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to round out this cluster. I definitely want to use a couple more of these cut apart pieces, so I end up layering a couple of those feathers uh, with the clock too, just so there's a little bit more interest. and. Before I glue everything down, I really wanted to gut this background portion. I love the house on this background. I don't know if it'll end up getting used because it is such a large element, um, but even the backside of this paper is, is super subtle and usable. So I wanted to save this big chunk of paper uh, so I could use that on another page. So I just gutted that section. I'm going to back the whole thing with this uh, filler paper just so I have some stability and I have that gap filled. <laughs> I pretty much do this on every page, so I don't know why I always say that this is what I'm doing on every page, but um, I kind of want to leave it in for the most part just so you can see. It doesn't take me too long to do, but it is part of the process in making these pages. And now that the hole is filled, I'm going to glue down all of these layers. So this is the bulk of the layering. Now I just get to kind of fill out some of the ephemera 
and I need to do my title. I don't feel like I really need journaling on this one because it's pretty obvious all of these photos are, <laughs> are the wedding photos. Um, but I do want to pull in some pops of gold. I've really enjoyed pulling in the yellow gold with all of these pages. So I'm going to definitely do that. But like I said, I think I'm going to pull mostly from my um, thickers to do that gold element. But you'll see a couple other gold things I'll pull in here and there. But this is the frame I decided to go with. So I'm just going to fussy cut that really quick. I <laughs> really think this uh, product line, this is the first time I've used minty papers. Um, I'm going to have to look into some other collections though because it is up there as <laughs> one of the most beautiful collections I've ever used. And I just really, really like how they designed it um, where you don't have to buy ephemera to get all of this ephemera. They really designed the cut aparts very smartly. Um, and I just really appreciate how much I've been able to do with layering and all of that from just buying the paper pack alone. Um, so I appreciate that about them <laughs> for sure. I'm going to have to look into some other collections, but I can't think of one that would top this one. This is just such a dreamy collection. And I just think if I had, if I had a whole paper pad of this, I probably would have used it <laughs> for all of my wedding pictures. Um, this is one I can't see that I would get bored with. So I'm, I'm just enjoying working with it this month for sure. But I'm thinking about having this frame up here just to tie in these clusters to that top cluster. I'm really going for that diagonal look that I really like to do in situations like this where I have a cluster on either corner of the page. I really like connecting them like this. So I have my photo area tied into the lower cluster. Now I'm adding this frame that will kind of draw your eye up and connect it to this top cluster. And you'll see where I'm going to uh, gut this frame and you'll see that frame later this month. <laughs> even though I have a whole stack of cut apart frames, um, I'm even trying to salvage those just because they're so pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to ink that and I'll get that tucked behind those layers. And then you just saw I also um, did a couple more fussy cutting details on this little heart lock. I thought if I popped that uh, up on some foam and layered it over this horse, that would kind of create a nice visual effect. Um, I love the printed designs on this paper, but it does read very flat because it is just printed on the paper. So I do like having some dimensional elements to layer up on top of it just to give it a little bit more interest and make it look more layery. <laughs> so I'm adding this frame here and then that heart lock will be popped up on this frame. Every time I use a heart lock on these pages this month, I keep thinking of Schitt's Creek when they had the singles night and they did the lock and key thing. <laughs> That's all I can think of um, when I'm doing this, which I think is appropriate for a wedding page because the whole theme of that kind of part was that you find your, like your key finds your lock and soulmates and whatever you're finding your partner so it's a wedding page which i think makes sense and is on theme <laughs> i appreciate that my mind goes to that part of Shit's creek because that's funny um i got my foam up there i do want to uh, my foam foam adhesive dimensional adhesive on that lock and so i glued that up there and i definitely want to layer a little bit more i thought about adding one of these roses um, but I'm really wanting some other elements that will stand out a little bit. And I'm wanting to start introducing some gold. So you'll see me pull back out my Maggie Holmes gold sticker sheet. And I'm just going to pull off a couple of the word stickers <laughs> uh, to kind of bring that gold in. I'm going to trim them into some fishtail banners just to add some interest. But I'm choosing the one that says love to go up there by the heart lock. I think it's the perfect little size. And then there's one that says favorite that I'm going to have in the lower corner. <laughs> so I like that there's a gold banner word in each spot. I think that really helps with the balance and tying it all together. Uh, but I also love this word says favorite just because I just, I, these are really some of my favorite pictures that <laughs> we got um, during this photo shoot. He's just, he's so cute. <laughs> and now I'm going back through my fancy that sticker sheet, wedding theme sticker sheet. I'm really doing good on using those stickers this month, which I'm, I was really, really happy because I've had those in my stash for years. And I finally have a wedding page where it's on theme. I need to use them. So I am going to take a gray word that says darling and then a pink word that says charming. I'm going to have one of those in each of the clusters too, just to layer on top of the gold word. I think the different 
lights and the font and the texture and all of that helps add some depth as well. Uh, so you'll see me do that. And I, um, I don't have the clock popped up on some foam, so I am popping the charming word up on some foam. So there's some dimension down there too. Um, but because the heart lock in the top corner is popped up, um, I'm just going to tuck the darling underneath it and have it lay flat so that's not popped up. So I like how they're kind of sisters but not twins. My clusters, they tie into each other, but they're not identical. And I really like doing that when I'm composing two clusters like this. <laughs> And now I'm going in with those thickers. I love this font. I think it's so fun. Chipboard thickers aren't my favorite, but I really like these. So <laughs> I'm just going to say the word groom. And then earlier I also pulled in a sticker that said the groom, which I think was appropriate because I used the bride sticker on uh, one of my earlier pages this month. So I like that I got the groom one used up here. <laughs> and you'll see I have all of those stars that I also did it three in each cluster, which I think is sweet. So I'm really just tying it all together with some of that high swap gold color shine. I think that adds such a dreamy touch to these dreamy pages. And here are the close-ups. So thank you guys so much for watching. I loved this one. I loved all of them this month. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.